गुड इवनिंग टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लॉग इन विंडो डिज़ाइन इन डब्ल्यू पी एफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिज़ाइन आई विल कम्प्लीट द डिज़ाइन पार्ट ऑफ द लॉग इन फॉर्म सो एड ए न्यू फॉर्म इन द सोल्यूशन बिफोर डिज़ाइन फर्स्ट टू चेक what is the table of login control and what field i take in it yeah i have three fields first one is id username and passwords in which uh, we have one data that is jacob and uh, also the password is jacob if we look at the design part of the table that i taken username is variable type character with the 50 characters size password is variable type character also 50 vector size so add a new window that is login control in the page so uh, this is the window add a control from the toolbox like text block change the text of the text block is username add it another text block for password also change the text from the xaml code that is password add two text boxes first one is now add add another attribute that is name of the text box is t1 also remove the text from the text box now add another text box that is text box 2 remove the text from the text box yeah add a button control in the design window change the content of the button that is login okay that's fine when we click on the login button handle event in the code behind part oops double click on the button and handle the click parts yeah that is i have uh, add i have a model that is edmx file so 
add the edmx file by this method add a new component ad.net entity data model and process next that is ef designer add a table in which i have four tables in the entity framework if you want to uh, learn how to add the edmx file please learn my previous videos okay if you want to add edmx That's fine. That is, in which we have uh, a single context class. That is database entities class. So, first of all, create a object of the class DBE equals to new database entities. check both text boxes are empty or not so t1 dot text is not equals to string dot empty so add a name in the text box too that is t2 text box 2 it's not a relevant name but uh, it's a short name of the text box t2 dot is not equals to string dot empty oops getting error only assignment Call increment decrement awaiting represent as a string of unicate characters. Oh, that a symbol of the OR operator is not good. Uh, that is, I have used a not signed. So use all symbol here that is or symbol t2 dot text equals to is not equals to string dot empty variable users equals to dbe dot users oops in the context class in the context class we have a public property that is users through which we can get uh, all the columns from the users class that is db dot users dot first or default the first or default add a lambda expression a dot username dot equals t1 dot text if equals then getting the uh, all user names uh, all the rows is equal to usernames so users is not equals to null then match the passwords so if again 
if users dot passwords db dot users dot oops I have uh, already a column of the table in the users variable users one so users one dot password dot equals equals to t2 dot text if both are matched then your font your function should be correct so you can log in now and open another page if your username and password is correct then login redirect to welcome page equals to welcome the also the increase the um, font size so font size equals to 16 yeah so welcome is the name of the uh, form w1 this dot hide it's not working right now error letting error show yeah, getting error so remove this line mm, it's not necessary if you want to hide the first uh, column after login then you can apply here you can add hide property of the form if you want to hide uh, login for now after login you do this uh, first of all set the owner uh, uh, okay check this code uh, in my previous videos open new form and close existing you do this where so remove this line Now add the else message box dot show string message that is password not match yeah pass uh, or you can say in password incorrect this for this if also use else. message dot show none value for this if please take some value into mm, the text box text boxes please input some value in two text boxes okay first of all change 
the startup URI uh, by the help of app.sml file that is login window check up check up yeah open the second form that is welcome yeah that's fine thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials